Once upon a time, there were two villages alongside a road that ran between the two of them. They were mostly agricultural, some tradespeople like blacksmiths and so on, and they were very friendly with each other. They hired each other to help at busy times in the seeding and the harvest and so on. They went to each other's shops. They went to each other's taverns. Everybody got along well. It was peaceful. It was prosperous. Everybody was doing fine. One day, God came to visit the village, starting at one end of the road and walking to the other end of the road. He was wearing the most beautiful coat, a beautiful blue on one side, a beautiful red on the other side. You would expect God to be wearing a very beautiful coat. And these were beautiful blue and beautiful red, colors that really aren't seen on earth until that day. He walked down the road, the people were working in the fields and in the community, and he was waving to them and blessing to them, and he left. That evening, they went to the taverns, including each other's tavern, and they were asking each other, did you see God when he came to visit today? And one would say, he was wearing the most beautiful, beautiful blue coat you've ever seen. And the other would say, well, I saw God, but his coat isn't blue. God wears a red coat. And somebody else would yell blue, and somebody else would yell red. Then the fist fight started. Things got out of control. The resulting war lasted for a hundred years, and over that time, thousands of deaths and many more thousands of injuries. One day, Satan came to visit the village, and he walked down the very same road. He saw the cemeteries, full. He saw alongside the road, the wounded, the maimed, the handicapped for life, with their hands out, begging for food or some pennies. But no one has anything to give them because everybody else is destitute. The entire communities have been destroyed. They're devastated. The people are absolutely desperate. And Satan laughed because he never had to exert himself to cause all this misery. The people did it to each other. The people did it to themselves.